Good evening. <laughs> this, welcome to the City of Madeira Beach Board of Commissioners meeting. Today is Wednesday, November 12th. Um, Commissioner Lister, would you lead us in the invocation? I certainly will. Please, Please remain Mayor. standing Thank you very for much. the pledge to the Please flag. Please stand while we say a prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, as the citizens of the City of Madeira Beach meet together to address our local concerns and opportunities, we give thanks to you for the bounty that we enjoy in all aspects of our community life and for the peace and beauty that we enjoy each day. We ask for your inspiration to strive for excellence in our endeavors to serve the public, grant us peace and harmony between all people for your greater glory. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The city clerk, will you please take the roll, please? Vice Mayor Hodges? Here. Commissioner Lister? Here. Commissioner Poe? Here. Commissioner Schantz? Here. Mayor Palladino? At this time, I'll uh, entertain a motion for the approval of the minutes. I'll make a motion to, to approve the minutes. Second it. The minutes have been, the uh, minutes, approval of the minutes have been, uh, motion has been made and seconded. Um, any further com discussion? Amy, could you please take the roll? Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Schantz? Yes. Mayor Palladino? The next item would be the approval of the agenda. Mr. City Manager? Yeah, thank you, Madam Vice Mayor. A uh, couple of issues on the agenda. First, under item E, the presentation to uh, Doug Spieler. We're asking that that be referred at his request. A family member of his wanted to be present and uh, couldn't make it tonight. Um, in all probability, this may go to the January or February uh, meeting due to the list of people that we're presenting to. So uh, right now, I think we can just put it on the table and I'll take it off the table when necessary. Also under the consent agenda, items two, three, and four can be grouped together, but uh, the city attorney and I are asking that you take out items one and five. Uh, item number one is uh, a contract that we want you to go ahead and approve tonight pending a city attorney approval, very similar to a, an issue that we had last week. Also number five right now, and you need to approve this, uh, we need to s change it slightly. It's going to be an authorization of expenditures for six, not eight, boat lifts for the municipal marina in the estimated amount of $53,340. Those are the only changes we have. Okay. All right. I'll entertain a motion then for the approval of the agenda. I make a motion that we approve the agenda with number two taken out on E and tabled, and number one and number five from the consent agenda changed, with number five being changed from eight boat left to six, and the amount being changed to fifty-three thousand. What was the last three? Three hundred and forty dollars. Three hundred and forty dollars. I second. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any further discussion? The city clerk, please take the roll. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Schantz? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Just for the public's information that the mayor had requested to be absent tonight, he's on a, a family vacation type issue and we'll ask for his uh, excused absence at the next meeting. <coughs> okay, under the presentations, we have Vice Sheriff Bob Galatari. Hello, Commissioners, Vice Mayor. I just wanted to, I'm Bob Gualtieri, uh, I'm the Pinellas County Sheriff, but I just wanted to stop out and uh, say hello. Uh, haven't been out in a while and uh, just make sure things are going the way you want them to go in Madeira Beach. Uh, I have a few things to share with you, but most importantly, I want to make sure that uh, we're doing the things we need to be doing or not doing certain things that we can help you out with that we have a discussion about it. Uh, from uh, We certainly appreciate the, appreci the appreciation day you had for the deputies. I'm sorry I couldn't be here. I think it was two weeks ago. And I had a bunch of stuff on my schedule that day, but I know about it and uh, very appreciative of everything you did to recognize the work that they're doing out here. Um, just a couple of things I wanted to share with you that are going on. And I think you've received uh, invitations for um, the open house that we have coming up here uh, next Monday at the new Sheriff's Administration building. And there's another date in December. And hopefully you'll have a chance to come uh, and see what is behind the scenes that drives the operation of the Sheriff's Office. And also uh, the new consolidated county communication center with 911 
And something else that's important to really to everybody and to all the elected officials throughout the county is the county's emergency operations center. It's one of those facilities that you hope you never need, uh, but if we do, it's very important, uh, especially out here in Madeira Beach and up and down all the barrier islands. So if you, you can join us, we'd love to have you to, to see that new 220,000 square foot facility that is, uh, again, the, the infrastructure behind everything that happens uh, in the sheriff's office. But along the uh, lines of the emergency uh, operations center is I want you to, to uh, know about a, an initiative that we started this year, will be finished before the hurricane season next year, and that has to do with reentry. Uh, up and down uh, the barrier islands from St. Pete Beach all the way up to Clearwater Beach, it was very inconsistent as to uh, how that would happen if there wasn't evacuation and how people would get back onto the beaches. And under a county ordinance, the sheriff is responsible uh, for reentry uh, throughout all of the, the barrier islands. And we had no way uh, consistently of knowing who belonged and who didn't belong. Uh, some communities were using hang tags, some were using cards, some were using all different things, and some had nothing. So uh, we decided to implement a hang tag and barcoded system that's color coded. And we're picking up the bill for it. Uh, we're buying the scanners, we're buying the barcodes, we're working with everybody uh, throughout the Barrier Island community, not only for the residents, and, but the business owners and also the employees of the business. One of the things that's gonna be very important to the business owners out here is, is that when they can re-enter, that they can get their employees uh, out here to get the businesses cleaned up and get them back in operation. And we wanna make sure it's done safely and it's done efficiently and so that each community will have a color-coded barcode so that you don't have people that are passing between the communities. So Reddington will be di different from Madeira, Madeira will be diff different from Clearwater. So you don't have people going all up and down. And it should be a fast process because <coughs> the deputies at all the checkpoints will have a scanner and everything will again be barcoded and people should be able to move through it pretty fast. We'll have that in place before next hurricane season. Uh, it should be by uh, May of 2015 that, that that'll be in place. So. I just wanted to share that with you. That'll be a little bit of a change. And again, it's one of those things that we need to have it, and but we hope we never need it. So, um, is there anything I can uh, do for you, answer for you? Everything good here in Madeira Beach as far as the sheriff's office is concerned? Everything's great in Madeira <laughs> Beach as far as the sheriff's department. Okay. But I was asking, what is our responsibility for the barcoding end of it? Are you going to send us a package out? We're going to give it to our uh, residents? That yeah, we're here? working with the city manager on it, we're, and all the details are being worked out now. Uh, and each community is going to do it differently. Some, some are going to do it where people come to City Hall. Some of the smaller ones, uh, the Bel Air beaches are a little bit different than St. Pete Beach. And all those details, we're still working out all those details. Uh, but we have representatives on the committee from every city uh, throughout all the barrier islands. So we're just going to have the uh, officers on the on the bridges. Is that is that when they come back? So you don't have to do from town to town to town. Right. Reddington's that way. Right. Bridges. So you, you, you've got to you got uh, down in St. Pete Beach. You got a couple entry points down yeah, there. Right. Of course, up in Clearwater, you sure. got big ones. So it, you know the Park Boulevard Bridge, uh, the Indian Rocks uh, here coming over Tom Stewart. So there's, you know, if you count them, I don't know what there are, seven, eight, nine uh, entry access points. Each one of them would be staffed. And in the past, and I remember doing it years ago, well, we had some, it, it was, you know, quite a, quite a feat and sometimes a mess because every car would have to stop, somebody would have to show a driver's license, and then the uh, driver's license they have, they, they moved out here two months ago, but it shows an address over in Tampa, and i got to get to my business, and I can't. And people get frustrated. And, Absolutely. And, and we don't want them to be frustrated. What we want is... We want, it, we want the right people here so they can get back in, check on their property, and that the, the business owners who don't live here, even some of them, can get to their property, and importantly, their employees can get in. So we tried to be very comprehensive in, in how we went about this, and uh, I'm comfortable it's gonna, it'll be a good thing if we ever need it. And you're paying for it. We're paying for it. Wow, couldn't yeah. get better. Not than asking for, can't get not better asking than anybody for anything. That's please. fantastic. Yeah, I know. Yeah, my, so. my, my comment would be that, uh, you know, we get deputies here, uh, community police officers, and. We think we have the best deputy, and then you, you know, you kick him up the uh, brinks because he is a good deputy, yeah. and he, and you replace him with somebody just as good. So, good. thank you. Yes, yeah, good. Really, your your deputy training is is top notch and good. and very <clears throat> professional. And I'm just uh, and not in my personal opinion. I, I can go out and talk to 50 people, and good. they're going to say the same thing. Good. Well, I yeah. appreciate that, and I know, you know, when uh, Sean left out here and, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, and, and yeah. Pat are here, it, is that. You know, we're very careful and very selective as to who uh, we put in the cities, especially here, and, and we want, want to make sure it's done. And I just want to get get out and say hello. I haven't been out in a while, and the last thing I want to do is have you only see me if there's a problem. So I, I want to come by when, you know, hopefully things are good and, and uh, let you 
know that we're here. We value the relationship with Madeira Beach and its citizens. It's very important to us, and uh, we want to make sure that it stays the way it's going for a very long time. So, thank you. Okay. That's all I have. Don't go away. Yeah. Go away. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I have to tell you something that happened today in our city. Okay. Been working on it for two years. Deputy Luckett, Deputy Crager took their first cases before Tom and the special magistrate today for the sure. chronic nuisance property ordinance, yes. and they kicked butt. Good, good. <laughs> Glad to hear it. We are very yeah. happy. Yeah, and, and you all have been very innovative with that. I mean, that, that ordinance is, uh, you know, it, it's very innovative. I'm glad to hear it's working. So um, uh, that, that's good news, good news for the city. Yeah, sure. For, uh, from my standpoint, you know, from Sergeant Pisano on down, uh, it, it's just, it's been a pleasure to work with your team. Um, Luck it and Robo, call him Robocop, <laughs> Craig. Uh, they they've been a, a welcome change, and like you said, you know, not every personality matches with every community, and and I think that that you guys do a, a very good job with that, and so we we couldn't be uh, happier. It's really 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 working well, and I hope hopefully Madeira Beach was somewhat of a trendsetter in regards to this code enforcement stuff too, because it's really working slick, and yep. if you ever need a a poster boy or whatever for that type of sale to other communities I'd certainly be happy to do it because I, I think it's really come a long way since we've made it a little bit more sophisticated type operation good and and, and it has already uh, you, you all set the tone for that and st. Pete Beach is now on board and mm -hmm. uh, Reddington is now on board with it we had some discussion recently mm -hmm. uh, Bel Air mm -hmm. Beach they decided to go in a different direction but uh, the model works yeah. and it has worked very well so I wouldn't be surprised to see some others uh, follow and you all blaze the trail with that. So yeah. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. And you know you're doing something right if you can get a hug from Elaine Poe. I saw both you guys get a hug before, so you, you, you know you're in good shape. So. I may be short, but I have tall standards. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That, that, and, that, and that's great. No, it's a good thing. So, mm -hmm. but uh, now we appreciate it. And uh, but you know I, I'm here for you. We're here for you. Uh, you need anything? Contact me directly. I know that you know you're changing constant contact with. Uh, Sergeant Desano and, and with others, but uh, know that we uh, we appreciate you and we appreciate the relationship with the city of Madeira Beach. Right. And thank I'd you. like to thank you. You know, we've had a relationship with the Sheriff's Department for some years. Madeira Beach was the first to step up when the Sheriff's Department was here. Yep. And certainly it's progressed on with onward. It's been a wonderful experience. So it gets better every year. And it's, yeah. it's just the best. The guys are always We consider them our police department. That's right. And you should. Yeah, and that's good. That, that's the way we want it. That's the way we, you know, design it and uh, have the deputies that are here and that are part of your community. You know, you've made it when your postman actually gets out of his cart and comes and knocks on your front door and tells you how great the city looks. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> that is a good thing. That's great. Good, good. All right, well, I appreciate the few minutes in talking to you. And like I said, need anything, uh, we'll let us know, and hopefully we'll see you at one of those two open houses. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you sure. very much. The next part of the agenda is uh, for public comment. We're asking that it be limited to three minutes. Is there anyone here tonight that would like to speak? Okay, I'll close that portion of the meeting. Uh, Madam Vice Mayor, maybe yes. if, we, if we want, the Sheriff's Department staff is more than welcome to stay, but I wouldn't put you through the pain of staying through this meeting if you don't need to. So if. Uh, if, if you want to exit now, now now's your shot. So take take it or leave it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The next item will be under the consent agenda. Do I need to give this to you? Nope. Yeah, I think uh, to start out with, uh, Madam Vice Mayor, if you'd like, you can ask for a blanket uh, motion to approve for items two, three, and four, unless anyone has any questions about those. I'll make a motion to, uh, that we approve the consent agenda items two, three, and four. I second. Okay, motion's been made and seconded. Is there any further discussion? The city clerk, can you take the roll, please? Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. 
Commissioner Schantz? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Okay, the next item will be under unfinished business. Nope, uh, Madam Chair, then we have to go back to item number one. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. And uh, the, the reason why that we're asking for this is we need just you to add a, a little bit of verbiage to the motion. And the reason for that is the contract came in late and the city attorney wasn't able to read it. And there's a couple of things in there that he has some concerns about and we'll probably have to um, address. And so if we can get a motion to approve uh, the authorization of expenditures for Gulf Boulevard landscaping design services in the estimated amount of $36,700 pending the city attorney's approval. Um, what this is is CPWG, who is our engineer on the Gulf Boulevard project, both doing the lap part of it, which is the construction of the road, but then also the utility bearing, um, that sizable grant that we got to do the landscaping services, this is to um, sign them up to do that as well. So one engineer on the entire project makes the most sense, obviously. So that's all this is, but uh, Tom needs to take a look at it and, and work with the vendor in regards to uh, uh, maybe some verbiage that needs to be deleted. So if you just wanna make a motion to approve pending the city attorney's um, approval, we're good to go. I wanna ask, ask a question. Is this the amount that was authorized to spend on Gulf Boulevard? Some years ago, you know, we had to send in application with every plant from whatever we were going to plant there. So is this part of that or is this a new? This is a new gig, new, a new, new, okay. new part of that with that new grant that we landed. So I think it's, it's over $100,000 plus we have all that beautification money. So it all is going to depend on how much it's going to cost us to bury that utility. And that all depends on that experimental part that we'll be doing in early spring. So it, it's, it's all going to, it's a lot of moving yeah. pieces, but we'll, we'll see where we end up. But this is th this money is in the budget, and we're good to go. Okay. So I make a motion that we authorize the expenditures for Gulf Boulevard Landscaping Design Services and the estimated amount of $36,700 pending the city attorney's approval. I second. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any further discussion? The city clerk, you take the roll, please. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Schantz? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Okay, and then uh, Madam Vice Mayor, under item number five, under the uh, approval of the agenda tonight, you, you amended this to read authorization of expenditures for six boat lifts for the municipal marina in the estimated amount of $53,340. Um, Dave is killing it out there on this boat, pro or on the, at his marina project, and we wanna keep the momentum going and so by doing this, what we found was a Gulfport contract that we can piggyback off of for six of the eight additional lifts that Dave wants to buy. Chances are there's two uh, higher capacity weight limit lifts that he wants to buy that we couldn't find a contract for yet. So either we'll find a contract for that that we can piggyback off of, or we'll just put that out for bid. But this keeps Dave, keeps, keeps everything in motion for Dave so he can continue on. I make a motion that this commission authorize the expenditures for six boat lists for the municipal marina in the mm -hmm. estimated amount of $53,340. I'll second that. Motion's been, ma motion's been made and seconded. Is there any further discussion? City Clerk, you please take the roll. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Schantz? Yes. Mayor Palladino? I'd like to commend Dave on the job he's done at that mark. Unbelievable. And yeah. anyone in this town ought to take himself a visit down there and see what a beautiful thing that town is. Turned into be a marvelous yeah. We need three gold stars in this town for that. <laughs> it's gonna be something else when it's all done. I'm you know, fine. just the just changing out that fuel dock alone, I think, has done such a facelift to that one area, and oh, then yeah. you see some of the other things Dave's doing out there. It's it's a pretty spectacular site. So, it's a property that's not too big. Hard to talk, right? And I think of what it used to look like. What it looked like. Today. <laughs> wow. You know, I can say, David. Wow, you've done a job. Would you believe in the middle to towards the end of the seventies, we actually spent three months in the Madeira Beach Marina while we were repositioning our boat. Yeah. So I remember what it looked like. Yeah, we'll have to tell you. In the way. dark ages. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll move on to the unfinished business then. And the first one is under the ordinance 2014-7. Mr. City Attorney. Um, I have this as ordinance 2014-09 is the first one. I'll read it by title only. This is the second and final reading. 
Ordinance 2014-09, an ordinance of the City of Madeira Beach, Florida, amending the Madeira Beach Comprehensive Plan, Section 3.2, Future Land Use Element, Policy 1.1.2, providing for the amendment of the Resorts Facilities Medium RFM Plan Category, providing for an additional land use category entitled Resorts Facilities High, RFH, pursuant to the specific procedures and standards as set forth herein and in the City's Code of Ordinances, providing for the amendment of the planned redevelopment mixed use PRMU plan category to accommodate increased density intensity for temporary lodging use consistent with and corresponding to revisions and update of the town center special area plan. Amending section 3.2 future land use element goal two objective 2.1 policies 2.1.2, 2.1.3 and 2.1.4 providing specific authorization for the use of density intensity averaging the procedures and standards for which shall be uh, set forth in the city's code of ordinances, providing for reading by title only, providing for severability, providing for repeal of ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict herewith, and providing for an effective date thereof. That was a reading of ordinance 2014-09 by title only, and it requires a public hearing. Okay, at this time I'll open it for public discussion. No, we gotta make the motion, make the motion oh. first. Take a, get a motion for a public hearing. Okay. All right, I'll introduce a motion that we pass ordinance 2014-09 on second and final reading. I second. Okay, motion's been made and seconded. Do you open it for the public discussion at this yes, time? Yes. Okay. We will open it now for public discussion. Okay. The city clerk, please take the roll. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Pope? Yes. Commissioner Schott? Yes. Mayor Palladino. Okay, the next one will be ordinance number 2014-08. Mr. City Attorney. Yes, I'll read that by title only. This is the second and final reading as well. Um, ordinance 2014-08, an ordinance of the City of Madeira Beach, Florida. Amending the Madeira Beach Code of Ordinances, subpart B, land development regulations by amending chapter 82, general provisions, section 82-2 definitions to provide for the term of density intensity averaging by amending Chapter 86, Administration, to establish a new Article 5 entitled Density Intensity Averaging and setting forth the requisite procedures and standards, therefore. By amending Chapter 110, Zoning, Article 5, Districts, Division 1, Generally, Section 110-151, Establishment of Districts, providing for the addition of the PD Plan Development District to the list of zoning, excuse me, list of zoning districts, Amending Chapter 110 Zoning, Article 5, Districts, Division 10, PD, Plan Development, Section 110-386, Purpose. Section 110-387, Use is Permitted, and Section 110-388, Application for PD Zoning. Providing for the required use of the PD District in conjunction with the Resort Facility High Plan Category. Providing for temporary lodging use in the PD District. Providing for the required submission of a development plan in conjunction with uh, and simultaneously with an application for PD uh, district zoning. Providing for reading by title only, providing for severability, providing for repeal of ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict herewith, and providing for an effective date thereof. That was the second and final reading of ordinance 2014-08 by title only, and it does require a public hearing. This time I'll entertain a motion to- I make a motion that we pass ordinance 2014-08 on second and final reading. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Is there any? Oh, it's an open discussion for anyone in the audience. Okay. City Clerk, could you please take the roll? Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Schott? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Okay, the next one is ordinance number 2014-07. Yes, this is the second and final reading of Ordinance 2014-07 by title only, an ordinance of the City of Madeira Beach, Florida, providing for amendment of the Madeira Beach Town Center Special Area Plan, providing for the revision of Chapter 2, Regulatory Plan and Guidelines with respect to development standards governing the density intensity calculations for temporary logic and mixed uses, providing for the revision of Chapter 3, Implementation with respect to the strategies to promote redevelopment, Providing for the revision of Appendix B, Infrastructure Analysis, to update and revise the infrastructure impacts correspondent with the current data and the proposed revisions to Chapters 2 and 3 referenced above. Providing for transmittal of the Madeira Beach Town Center Special Area Plan as amended for review pursuant to the countywide plan and rules. Providing for reading by title only, 
providing for severability, providing for repeal of ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict herewith, and providing for an effective date thereof. That was the second final reading of Ordinance 2014-07 by title only, and it does require public hearing as well. Madam Vice Mayor, I move that Ordinance 2014-07 be passed on second and final reading. I second that. Motion's been made and seconded. We're open for discussion. The city clerk, would you uh, take public? A I'm sorry. We need to open to the public. Open to the public. I'm okay. sorry. Public discussion? Okay. Okay. The city clerk, just take the roll, please. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Schott? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Next will be ordinance number 2014-12. Yes, this is the second and final reading of Ordinance 2014-12. I'll read it by title only. An ordinance of the City of Madeira Beach, Florida, updating Madeira Beach's comprehensive plan capital improvement element to adopt an addendum to the five-year schedule of capital improvements for 2014-15 through 2018-19. Providing for reading by title only, providing for severability, providing for repeal of ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict herewith, and providing for an effective date thereof. That was the reading of Ordinance 2014-12 by title only, and it requires a public hearing. This time I'll entertain a motion. I make a motion that we pass Ordinance 2014-12 on second and final reading. I second. Motion's been made and seconded. It's, it's open for the public discussion. Okay, City Clerk, please take the roll. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Schott? Yes. Mayor Palladino. Next will be ordinance number 2014-13. <clears throat> yes, this is the second uh, reading of ordinance 2014-13. I'll read it by title only. An ordinance of the city of Madeira Beach, Florida, calling for a general municipal election on March 10th, 2015, for the purpose of electing a commissioner for District 3 and a commissioner for District 4. Providing authorization for the city clerk to sign contract with the Pinellas County Supervisor of Elections. Providing for publication. Authorizing election expenditures. Identifying the Pinellas County Canvassing Board as the canvassing board for the March 10, 2015 election. Authorizing for a runoff election if necessary. Providing for repeal of ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict herewith to the extent of such conflict and providing for an effective date. That was the second and final reading of Ordinance 2014-13 by title only. And it also requires a public hearing. This time I'll entertain a motion. I'll make the motion to pass Ordinance 2014-13 on second reading. I'll second that. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there public discussion? Ms. City Clerk, please take the roll. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Schott? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Next will be the ordinance number 2014-14. This is the second and final reading of ordinance 2014-14 by title only. An ordinance of the city of Madeira Beach, Florida, amending the city of Madeira Beach code of ordinances, chapter 14, buildings and building regulations, article one in general. Section 14-1, display of numbers mandatory. To increase the size of the numbers, article two, technical codes and standards. Section 14-31, fire codes adopted. To reference the state of Florida, Section 14-32, Uniform Code for the Abatement of Dangerous Buildings to adopt the most current additions of the International Property Maintenance Code and the National Electrical Code, Article 5, Marine Structures, Division 1, generally. Section 14-161, Construction, Repair, Alterations, or Raising to Conform to Provisions of, uh, of Article to reference seawall caps. And Section 14-164, Structures upon Docks, Seawall, Jetties, and Groins to reference seawall caps and providing for an effective date. That was the second and final reading of ordinance 2014-14 by title only. And I did notice that there was a typographical error. Groins is spelled a little bit different. I think we talked about that once before. It's G-R-Y-N-E-S. I have it right on the ordinance as well. Okay, E-S, G, mm -hmm. yeah, R-O-Y-N-E-S. That's the way that it's supposed All to be right. spelled and not the groin that we're sitting on right now. <laughs> At this time, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make the motion to pass Ordinance 2014-14 on second reading. I second it. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any public discussion? Ms. City Clerk, please take the roll. 
Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Pope? Yes. Commissioner Schott? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Okay. The next section is under the new business. We have a resolution 2014-46. And Mr. City Attorney, is this, this is title only, correct? That's right. We're going to read it by title. I did want, did want to let you know that um, we have bond counsel for the city in the audience today. Mr. Draper, Dwayne Draper, he's in the, I can't see him on the other side of the podium. I just see his feet. Uh, but uh, he's here. If you have questions about these two resolutions, if I cannot answer them. Um, so I'm going to read resolution 2014-46 um, and for the next one, 2014-47, also deals with the same uh, bond issuance. So resolution 2014-46, a resolution of the city of Madeira Beach, Florida, authorizing the issuance of not to exceed $3,500,000 principal amount of a city of Madeira Beach, Florida interlocal payments revenue bond series 2014 for the purpose of financing and or reimbursing the designing, permitting, acquisition, construction, equipping, and installation of improvements to Gulf Boulevard, including but not limited to undergrounding electrical cable and other utilities, replacing light fixtures, landscaping medians, and replacement of utility poles. Pledging payments received by the city from the Pinellas County pursuant to the interlocal agreement relating to the Gulf Boulevard beautification project, and on a junior and subordinate basis, the half cent sales tax revenues, guaranteed entitlement revenues, franchise fee revenues, and public services tax revenues to secure payment of the principal of and interest on bonds authorized to be issued hereunder. Making certain covenants and agreements for the benefit of the holders of such bonds, authorizing certain officials and employees of the city to take action, excuse me, take all actions required in connection with the sale, issuance, and delivery of such bonds, providing certain other matters uh, in connection therewith and providing for an effective date. That was a reading of resolution 2014-46 by title only. Madam Vice Mayor, I make a motion that this commission pass resolution 2014-46. I second it. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any discussion, public discussion? Madam Vice Mayor, if I can have the floor. What you're committing to is something that we've discussed month after month after month for quite some time. The county is providing you $3.5 million to do a Gulf Boulevard beautification project. You have chosen to use this money to bury your utilities. If you remember the presentation by Steve Tart from CPWG, we're going to do an experimental section early springtime to see if we can bury the utility under the sidewalk. If that experiment works, chances are this $3.5 million will allow you to bury entirely the utility along Gulf Boulevard. If that experiment fails and we have to acquire easements to bury the utility, you will still have north-south wires running in this project. And you need to be very, very clear on that tonight. $3.5 million will not bury your utility entirely if we can't bury it under the sidewalk. There's a very good chance that this could work. We're all keeping our fingers crossed, but you need to be very, very aware of that. The other thing from a political standpoint you're going to hear is the age-old argument you're only doing this for the businesses and the condo owners along Gulf Boulevard, what about the neighborhoods within Madeira Beach? We wouldn't be doing this along Gulf Boulevard right now if somebody wasn't giving us $3.5 million to do so. If somebody wants to give us the money to do it in a neighborhood, we'll be happy to sit down with them and do that. And the city is planning on doing that when we do our road and our stormwater improvements. But that's you, the response that you need to give is that we chose to use this money that was given to us by the county to do this along Gulf Boulevard and it's being funded by an outside entity, not your tax levy. So just those two points I wanted to make very, very clear tonight. And there was a stipulation <coughs> that that money could only be used for the beautification of Gulf Boulevard. Correct. That's correct, right? Correct. Absolutely. Sure. So is this a five-year bond? We, we've discussed this before, right? This is Yeah, we talked before. about this, uh, exactly. I think it was last week at the yeah. workshop. We issued an RFP rate. a couple weeks ago. It's yeah. a five-year term, 1.43 percent. Yeah, what we're right. expecting to close on. Amazing. Yep. I'm good. So what's the what's the probability that we get it at that? That's not that's not that, done yet, that right? Happens tomorrow unless there's some unless there's a hiccup tonight. Global okay. calamity. I mean, yeah. that's that's the plan. All right. Again, we've talked about it before, and I am excited. And the city clerk, please take the call. Roll call. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Pope? Yes. Commissioner Schott? Yes. 
Mayor Palladino. The next one will be resolution uh, number 2014-47. Please read by title only. Resolution 2014-47, a resolution of the City of Madeira Beach, Florida, supplementing a resolution adopted on even date herewith, authorizing the issuance of an, inter of an interlocal payments revenue bond series 2014 of the city in the principal amount of not to exceed $3,500,000 for financing and are reimbursing the designing, permitting, acquisition, construction, equipping, and installation of improvements to Gulf Boulevard including but not limited to undergrounding electrical, cable, and other utilities, replacing light fixtures, landscaping mediums, and replacement of utility poles, providing that the series 2014 bond shall be a limited obligation of the city payable from the payments received from the city, I'm sorry, by the city from Pinellas County pursuant to the interlocal agreement relating to the Gulf Boulevard beautification project and on a subordinate basis the half cent sales tax revenues guaranteed entitlement revenues, franchise fee revenues, and public service tax revenues to secure payment of the principal of and interest on such bond, providing for the rights, securities, and remedies of the holders of the series 2014 bond, making such determinations as are required to afford such bond bank qualified status, appointing a paying agent and a registrar, making certain covenants and agreements in connection therewith, Establishing its intent to reimburse such capital expenditures incurred with proceeds of the series 2014 bond and providing an effective date. That was a reading of resolution 2014-47 by title only. This time I'll entertain a motion. <coughs> Madam Vice Mayor, I move that resolution 2014-47 be adopted. On I second. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? They're not. They're actually very different resolutions. We've got the right guy in the audience here to answer that more specifically, if you'd right. uh, Good evening. My name's Dwayne Draper, and I'm with Bryant and Art Olive. We're privileged to be the city's bond council. The, the master resolution, which was the one you adopted first, uh, envisions having not only this bond for this purpose uh, issued underneath the master resolution, but in the future, under certain circumstances, you'd be able to issue parity debt for additional projects that would be satisfactory. So the first resolution is what I would call a master resolution. The second resolution actually implements the first series of, of a bond to be issued under the master resolution. So that's why they're back to back and separated. In the future, you would only do one resolution off of the master. The master is the, the one that we're working off of uh, for all issues uh, for this source of security. I hope that answers your question. Confusion's not the goal. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Chair, I just want to, you know, uh, Vince has spent a lot of time on this, and I think he reassembled somewhat of a dream team when, uh, based off of what we did on the first uh, bond that we put together for City Hall. He really makes this process easy for a city manager. He just kind of comes in and talks to me like I'm where I need him to be, like I'm in fourth grade, and, and makes it make sense. And um, I, I think we're in a good spot. Uh, that interest rate you heard, you know, yeah. we can't go wrong. Um, and we're in a position where it, it's, a, it's, we're not borrowing money because we have to, because we can't afford it, we're borrowing it because we have to spend it to get paid back. And so I think this is a, a, a good thing. This isn't because we're in financial ruin. In fact, I think we're in a, a very good financial spot. Um, this is just kind of because of the way that the county structured their program and it's hard to complain about getting 3.5 for nothing, so. Thank you. Also want to commend Vince's work as well as Tom's. It's a very professional staff and Shane's as well. Great, great group to work with. Thank you very much. Can I just mention one other thing? Sure. Uh, he didn't say it tonight because it's really not part of what's going on, but he has got a daughter who's competing in a huge volleyball tournament tomorrow. Oh my. And uh, is it still going on? Okay, so uh, pretty interesting. He's got a very athletic daughter, so so he won't be here tomorrow. But there will be someone here in his okay. in his stead. So <laughs> <laughs> it takes after her mom. Okay. Good luck to her. Yeah. And Madam Vice Mayor, in yes. lieu of the or because of the mayor being out of town, we'll see you in the morning to uh, yes, sign documents. Yes, you will, sir. Yes, right. you will. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, the next one will be resolution two zero. We, we need we, a vote I'm on sorry. that. I'm sorry, I'm we, sorry. We need to take a vote. That's right, I'm sorry. Got ahead of myself. <laughs> Vice Mayor Hodges? <laughs> yes. Commissioner Lister? Yep. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Schott? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Okay. Okay. Now we have resolution 2014-4A. Yes. Um, I'll go ahead and read that by title only. Resolution 2014-48, a resolution of the City of Madeira Beach, Florida, amending the FY 2015 general fund budget by appropriating $27,500 from prior year building reserves and reducing budget expenditures <coughs> in the general fund uh, by $27,500 and providing for an effective date. That was a rating of resolution 2014-48 by title only. At this time, I'll entertain them. I move that resolu resolution 2014-48 be adopted on the screen, please. I second. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any further discussion on this? Madam Vice Mayor, just so I can explain what's going on here. So we're, we're moving some money around. Obviously, if you see the next item on the agenda is to purchase a, a city vehicle. And um, when we, we built or, or put together the building department, we knew that we were going to have to have certain things. And one of them is a vehicle for the building official to drive. Um, right now, he's driving the old co code enforcement vehicle, and I'm not a very tall or big guy. Frank is. I don't know how he gets in and out of it, to be quite honest with you, and it, it, it's, it's, it's seen better days. Um, from a, a philosophical management standpoint, I don't like city-owned vehicles, but there's always a, a, a reason for some of them, and this is, this is one of them. So the vehicle that he's currently driving will get passed down or demoted to Vince's uh, parking enforcement folks. Um, we have a truck there that probably needs to, uh, has seen better days as well. And then um, um, uh, Frank will get a, a vehicle probably, not necessarily, it, it needs to be stocked with certain things. He probably needs a ladder rack and the ability to throw things in the bed of a truck, you know, that type of building stuff. So just to explain, this isn't some perk of the job. This was always on the horizon. Um, Frank actually volunteered to take the old code enforcement car until we could get to this point and see the success of the building department. So that's where we're at right now. Okay, do we need to do a separate motion on that? You do. So you need a, a separate motion for resolution 48, and then you can go ahead and read number four and uh, okay. get a motion for uh, number four on the agenda as well. All right, so we already did the, um, the motion. It was mm -hmm. first and second. Okay, so we need to take the roll call, please. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Schott? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Okay, at this time, I will... Um, Entertain a motion for the authorization of the expenditures for the city vehicle purchase not to exceed 27500 I so move, madam. I second. Okay, motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? Okay, please take the roll. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Schott? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Next one will be resolution 2014-49. Yes, I'll read that by title only. Resolution 2014-49, a resolution of the City of Madeira Beach, Florida, establishing Sunday, December 14th, 2014, Sunday, December 13th, 2015, Sunday, December 11th, 2016, Sunday, December 10th, 2017, and Sunday, December 9th, 2018, as the dates for the annual Florida Gulf Beaches Holiday Halfathon, starting in Madeira Beach, adjacent to City Hall, south to Madeira Way, west to Gulf Boulevard, heading north in the northbound lanes of Gulf Boulevard to Indian Shores, allowing temporary road restrictions to be created between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. to be field adjusted as necessary by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, authorizing the mayor to sign the Florida Department of Transportation applications provided by the race director for temporary closing of a state road, providing for reading by title only and providing for an effective date. That was a reading of resolution 2014-49 by title only. To make a motion that this commission pass resolution 2014-49. I second. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? So what's the reason for the five years? Is it just easier? 
Yeah, yeah I, I thought you were going to ask why are we having a resolution for this since you could just fill out an, uh, an event yeah. application. I actually asked uh, my staff that this morning when we were going through it. It's actually a requirement. He needs to have this to qualify for funding in a number of different areas, and so we just go ahead and approve it you know, every five years or whatever to give him those dates. It also reserves those dates for planning purposes, and then, then they know. So um, if this was just a normal event, it wouldn't even be in front of you except being reported to you. So it's, it's at their request to have it done. State funding, they get state funding? They do get some state funding, but I think he's got sponsorships and other things like that too. So when you go ask for sponsorship money, it's always easier to get a couple extra bucks if they know it's going to be a recurring thing and it's you know solidified. So it, it, it helps him out quite a bit. Well, is this another race besides the triathlon? Yes. This is the half a thon, right? Yeah. 13.2? 13.1. Okay. Mr. Clerk. Okay. Ms. City Clerk, could you take the roll, please? Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Shunt? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Next one is Resolution 2014-50. I'll read that resolution by title only. A resolution of the City of Madeira Beach, Florida, amending the City of Madeira Beach Policy Handbook to provide that the regularly scheduled time for agenda setting meetings be changed from 5.30 p.m. to 5.45 p.m. and providing for an effective date. There is a reading of resolution 2014-50 by title only. I'll make a motion to pass the resolution 2014-50. Second. Motions been made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Madam Vice Mayor, again, uh, just for the floor for 30 seconds. It, it's completely up to you guys. You don't have to have this meeting. And the reason why I implemented it early was unlike some cities where the city manager by charter sets the agenda, you don't, you don't have that. And so I felt very early on in my tenure here, especially not that it was chaotic, but whatever the right word was, it was a, a tumultuous time that I thought it was inappropriate for staff to just dictate the issues that you were going to take up with no input from the Board of Commissioners. And that's really the issue or the, the reason why we hold this meeting so that you have an opportunity publicly or privately, frankly, to say, Shane, I would like to discuss this on a workshop or put this on the Board of Commissioners agenda. As you can see from tonight, I don't think we've ever had one that lasted longer than five minutes. And so that's the reason for the change in time. But if you wanted to, you could completely eliminate this and just take what we give you. But I think it's a little CYA, frankly, for the city manager and staff, but it also gives you the opportunity to discuss what you need to have done, you know, to, to create your own agenda. That's why you're elected. And so I still appreciate it. I still like it. I know it's an extra 15 minutes on, on Board of Commissioners nights, but if, if you bear with me, I, I'd certainly endorse it from my standpoint. Me too. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. There is some transparency too with, with you know, people knowing what we're going to be talking about. So that's good. I like it. Okay, Mr. Just Clerk. keep it short. Take the roll, please. Five minutes, David. Yeah, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Okay. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? I'm talking here. Yes. <laughs> you said take the roll. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner yes. Poe? Yes. Commissioner Shunt? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Next one will be Ordinance 2014-15. Yes, this is the first reading of Ordinance 2014-15. I'll read it by title only. An ordinance of the City of Madeira Beach, Florida, amending the City of Madeira Beach Code of Ordinances, Chapter 2, Administration, Article 3, Division 2, Planning Commission, Section 2-77G, Organization, Pertaining to Meeting Dates, Section 2-78C, conduct of, conduct of Hearing, Pertaining to Notification Requirements, Article 8, Special Magistrate, Section 2-503C, Conduct of Hearing, Pertaining to Notification Requirements, Chapter 82, General Provisions, Section 8-2, Definitions, providing for the terms of budding, adjoining, and contiguous, providing for reading by title only, providing for severability, providing for repeal of ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict herewith, and providing for an effective date hereof. That was a reading of ordinance 2014-15 by title only, and it does require a public hearing. Madam Vice Mayor, I ask that this commission pass on first reading ordinance 2014-15. I second. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any public discussion? Lynn got up and gave us such a great uh, orientation last time we got this. Thank you for doing that. The city clerk, please take the roll. Vice Mayor Hodges? Yes. Commissioner Lister? Yes. Commissioner Poe? Yes. Commissioner Shop? Yes. Mayor Palladino? Okay, the next portion of our agenda will be for reports and correspondence. City commissioners have anything to say? I just wanted to mention, and I, I didn't, I was neglecting uh, the density intensity resolutions that we passed 
are exciting. They're, it's, it's a new new page for the city, and I'm excited that uh, the businesses of Madeira Beach, with the developers, along with the people that live here, are working so well together. I'm, I'm just excited about our short-term future and our long-term future, but I've, I've never seen better things happening in the city of Madeira Beach, and I've been here for a long time. Long time. Long time. Lot, a lot of cities are requesting uh, some of the legislation that we've been passing lately, especially in regards to development. So you'll see that the cities that are pro-development are not necessarily watching what we're doing, but yeah, seeing, no. you know, at requesting those types of things. And then the cities that aren't for it, and you don't have to be for it, everybody's got their own, you know, play on this, then, then, they're, then they're not interested. But I think we're certainly paving the way for the Board of Commissioners to take an issue and on a case-by-case -case basis, evaluate it and decide whether or not it's you know good for Madeira Beach or bad for Madeira Beach, frankly. And I think the things that we've passed so far is is bubbling out there. Eventually, these ordinances will be passed on the second reading. Yes. For development, and that I've been waiting for that. <laughs> we both have. I'm telling you, that's right, Jerry. I'm working around the campus on that. One. I think you'll see probably within the next three to six months because that these ordinances have been passed now that you'll see some sizable developments, at least in terms of site plans and things of that come towards you. There's there's chatter about another hotel. I think you're all aware of that. Um, the, the, the old Leverox property, I think Jim Holton now is kind of was waiting for this to happen and I think he'll get moving on it. I've seen renderings and a site plan already for that. And uh, Dave and I have been working with that. In fact, we've got a dinner tomorrow night to hopefully solidify some of those things that we're working on there. So, um, and the Barry Loft properties will probably become available now in the next 90 days. So I think you're, you're going to see this first wave of development that we're experiencing right now, and then there'll be a tidal wave after that. Great, thanks. So I guess. I just wanted to say that um, we're having this uh, big arts and crafts show right after Thanksgiving weekend. And uh, uh, just to remind everybody that that's coming in Madeira Beach, and the same as other items here away. But also, Christmas boat parade just around the corner, so we got to re remember to mention that to people. Start thinking about what Dave's been working doing. feverishly on that. He loves that parade, so he's, <laughs> he's working on, on it. it. Okay. Dave, Dave loves the boat parade. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I'm sure he does. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say that uh, the deputy appreciation day party that we had at the marina was really great. Your crew did a wonderful job in setting everything up. We, well, we had plenty of food. Everything was good. Hamburgers and hot dogs. Mr. Lister, <laughs> they were the wonderful. The fish was fantastic. And the fish was great. Oh, everything was fantastic. Was, everything was wonderful. Lots and thank it. you so much for everything you did to set this up. Another thing I wanted to mention was the um, the ceremony this morning at the uh, Madeira Way for the Fresh Market. That was very successful. There was a lot of people there this morning. Yeah, it was nice. And the vendors, I mean, there was a good variety of uh, different things there. It was just great really was and one more thing is that um, uh, since Mayor Palladino wasn't here uh, Tuesday I got to go in his place to Bay Pines for the ceremony there oh. for the veterans and that was wonderful uh, it must have been 2,000 people if not more there wow. but it was a beautiful ceremony the ROTC did a great job Kenswick Christian School Academy they sang and they were wonderful we had um, Congressman Dave Jolly there speaking. It was a uh, very nice turnout, very nice turnout. And uh, I appreciate the invitation to go. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. That's all I have. You know, Just we should let you be Vice Mayor Moore. You <laughs> talk. I talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think well, that's I most I've ever say. heard you say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. City Attorney, do you have any yeah, reports? I just wanted to um, follow up with the conversation earlier relative to the special magistrate hearing. You have not had one in many, many, many months here in Madeira Beach. Um, there were two cases that were brought today. One is the first chronic nuisance ordinance case um that we've prosecuted and frankly it's the first one in any city that i know that's been prosecuting them um so i'm i'm glad to hear that it went off well to see that it went off so well uh deputy luckett did a very good job testifying and preparing the case um, and getting it to its point where it was ready to move forward 
there was a lot of testimony. Um, there were a lot of documents received in evidence. The special magistrate took his time. The hearing itself took um, a little over an hour. Um, and um, the other side did show up. There was a respondent there. Th so there was testimony and evidence received from the respondent as well. Um, but the special magistrate um, made it known to this first property owner, um, property manager person, that they needed to get their act together, that he was very upset with what was happening. Um, and so overall, I thought that the presentation um, and the case itself went very, very well for the first one that, that, that we moved forward on. He did rule. Um, and he did find that there was a violation, that, that the property was a chronic nuisance property. He will enter his order within 10 days. We are, in the meantime, working on what it will take to bring the property into compliance because basically what this does now is, is it authorizes the city to move forward to bring this particular property, and we don't really need to mention it here, but this particular property in compliance. And that could mean a lot of different things, hiring security, establishing um, uh, security systems, uh, lighting systems, eviction proceedings for the nine tenants that are on the property or ten tenants that are on the property. Whatever it's going to do, w whatever we, we, we come to the resolution of what we think it will take to bring the property into compliance, we're going to move forward in doing that. Um, I've talked to Deputy Luckett after the meeting. I've talked to the city manager about some possibilities. Um, we'll nail that down. But I think that once all these other properties see what has happened with this first one, that hopefully they'll follow in line. It's kind of like the death penalty. If you see someone is going to get it, then maybe you won't do that particular crime. Um, and I think that uh, with the, this being pushed forward with Commissioner Poe and being the basis for this and all these other cities following in line behind us, um, I was very happy with the result today. Um, it'll be nice to get the first order that will be entered on this type of uh, ordinance. The second case was not a chronic nuisance case. It was just a, a standard code, code violation case. Um, and I thought that that was, uh, went very well, too. The other deputy uh, was, uh, was there, and he testified. He prepared his case very, very well. A number of photographs, number of documents. Um, and the other side was represented by an attorney, and um, they basically accepted the fact that we had such a good case and basically folded up their tent um, and didn't dispute what actually uh, the deputy was testifying. So I was very happy about that result as well. Um, and the case was set up as for the purposes of a repeat violation. So if the sign violation case um, happens again, that particular person will be fined up to $500 a day for every day that he violates that sign code violation. And if you want to know the, the particulars of the properties and or the property owners, I'd be happy to talk to you about that after the meeting. So very good result today at this code, code hearing. That's good. So. And if you guys did not attend, which I know you didn't, uh, Attorney Trask did an excellent job. I was most impressed. You didn't let him get away with anything. <laughs> Nothing slipped. Thank you. I'm sitting there thinking, will he remember this? Will he remember that? You did. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even have to give you the cue cards. That's good. Mr. City Manager, did you have anything? Yeah, uh, just quickly here. Um, this document, you see it on your desk? Yeah. Um, I need you to take a pen and circle November 20th, um, because if you read on, obviously there's a, uh, a typo. The meeting's November 20th, not November 24th, as it states in the, the body of it. Um, this Bitcoin thing is a bit, I don't want to call it a gimmick because that sounds uh, negative, um, but uh, Bitcoin sponsors this bowl game, right? It's played at the TROP, it's a big deal, um, uh, so sizable universities will be involved. We could have actually an in-state in uh, game of Miami versus uh, UCF. Um, Notre Dame is a possible other candidate, you know, it, some pretty big schools. Um, and they always have this beach bash, and that's what this document is about, and it kind of explains it to you. Um, what, that, what that basically is is the universities come down for a week or two weeks, and a couple of days before, they, they get to have a little bit of, of fun, and they have a, a beach party, and that's now going to happen instead of St. Pete Beach here in Madeira Beach. And to be viewed the day after Christmas on ESPN is some pretty good marketing for, for, the, for the city. Um, so the, the Bitcoin part of it is only because Bitcoin is sponsoring this bull that used to be the Beefle Brady Bull and now Bitcoin's taking over. Um, so 
from a marketing standpoint, it just would be awfully convenient if we became the first city to, in the world, frankly, to be the official Bitcoin city or whatever. So we've scheduled some of these, um, like a town hall meeting. There's trainings going on all over the area lately, but I wanted to have one right here so that um, no one could say that we didn't offer you know, the information. Um, I would encourage you all to come because after that meeting, if you're comfortable with it, the next week we would have to pass a resolution stating that we endorse the idea of being the official Bitcoin city. Um, and that comes along with a lot of press and prestige too, whether or not you believe in Bitcoin as a currency or not, which I certainly won't empty my savings account and invest in it right now. But if I was a vendor and it didn't cost me any money to offer that service, I think I would be relatively open-minded about it. And that's what this gentleman is going to come and present that night. So just so you're aware, it's the 20th. I believe it, that's next Thursday, right? Yeah. Then this weekend. No, no, no. It, there's just there's two dates on this piece of paper. Yeah. The date is the twentieth, the not the twenty fourth. Oh, I see. Okay, I see it now. I just wanted to make you aware of that. Okay, thank you. Um, this weekend, another big cornhole tournament, and then uh, for those of you that don't know, that's a beanbag tossing tournament, and then um, following that, there'll be a food rally on Madeira Way, where it's going to be bumper to bumper food trucks up and down Madeira Way, and kind of like a street festival afterwards. I will be out of state, but I hear. Terry Lister might be entering the tournament, and he's always a he's a good beanbag go. thrower player. <laughs> I don't want to say you're a good horn horn. Yeah, player, you don't want to so. say it on. No, on no, no. Thank so. you. Anyway, go be sure to root him on and, and check that out. I think the thing on Madeira Way afterwards will be uh, quite something, and that's going to be a routine gig that we do here in town now on a monthly basis as well. And then, last but not least, two things that I had uh, accidentally omitted off of the. Uh, um, agenda setting agenda is one is we continuously strive as a staff to centralize what we're doing to make it make more sense on, from a process standpoint and I think I'm rounding the corner on a possible consolidation and small re reorganization on how I do things with some of uh, the departments so I wanted to run that by you and then secondly and this may get political, and if it does, we don't have to make the change, but uh, it was actually suggested to me by the city clerk, and I think it does make sense. Um, some time ago, we chose to do away with the public works department because of, I think, of staffing issues, regardless of whether or not those were relevant or germane. It, it happened, and Dave's new title of central services isn't widely known, especially in small communities, so if you see a dead critter on the road, you don't know to go to the website and say, oh, the central services guy is going to be the guy that I call to do that. But Dave is that guy. You know, there, there, anything streets related, sewers related, anything out there in the community, that's always public works. And I don't want to say that like it's no big deal because three or four years ago, the decision was made to do away without that for some reason. Um, but I don't think we're too small of a community to have a public works department. We're, in fact, a full-service city, and with, this isn't to sound cocky or detrimental to Reddington Shores, but Reddington Shores has a public works department. You know, all the Reddingtons, I think, have a public works department. So I'd really like to go back to that and, and have Dave supervise. If nothing's happening to Dave, you know, we'd have to adjust his title again, but I think we'd return to having a public works department, and I think communication between the public and us I, in that regard would be a lot easier, I think, because I think people are confused as to what the heck central services are. And central services is usually a county department. It's usually a runt of everything kind of thrown together, which frankly, that's what I did today when I got here. It's like, well, no one else is gonna do it, buddy, so you're doing it, and we'll call you the central services department. I think I wanna return the public works and I know that's political especially for the members that were on the board when it was done away with and if that's not a good idea I understand I think I'm probably in a position to make that call but I obviously need the support I think of the it's commission. it's a great idea because your citizens know what public works is. Right. Most people understand what public works is right. and I think it's great. I, I'm, you know poor Dave we call him for everything anyway. <laughs> so it's, not, it's just going to be a new title, honey. It's not going to be any, any easier. It's just going to be a new title, and we're going to keep on calling you about everything. Well, I, 
I know it. I just, but I, 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 th I think you bring up a good point because we know that there is confusion out there because Amy gets the general inquiries on the website and it's those types of things. You know, oh, there's my neighbor's fence blew down or the, the sewer is blocked up or there's a dead raccoon on the street. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> take them across the That would be the tide. Take them over to the park. <laughs> that was funny. That just happened. I'm like, Dave, what do you do with a. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, they're, they're not harmed for, for so everybody at home knows that. But anyway, I, I think I want to return to that. I just want to know that my commission, who's been very supportive on all my reorganizations, is behind me on that as well. And I know it's political for some of you. And so if that's. that's revisit some harmful, harmful memories or whatever. I don't think anybody at this podium has any, has, don't have any political issues on my mind. No. I don't think there's but one on this podium. I don't want to get rid of public works in the beginning, so no. just don't go there with me. <laughs> Would you be bringing them back here the into the way. city or are you going to keep them where they're at? It's just a name change. Just, just a name, name change. It, okay. Dave's department and his, you know, I, I emailed him today. He probably didn't even see it. You know, we changed his title and just get central services away and bring back a name that people recognize. That's it. Nobody's getting hired. There's no director getting hired or anything like that. It's just for the ease of getting things figured out You're here. You're right, Shane. They don't know what central service is. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is a small It's a Wisconsin thing. It is a Wisconsin <laughs> thing. Is that a See? Wisconsin See? Yeah. I was the central services director before See? I came here. There you go. I'll oh, tell you, it was, I was the public works guy, the uh, <laughs> building guy, the streets guy, <laughs> IT, purchasing, and something else I don't even remember but it's just like you know it's it's always a conglomerate of whatever and that's indeed what this is but the conglomerate is streets you know stormwater oh, yeah. all the things public that Dave works. deals with oh, it's public works yeah. you, you other than it. the marina the marina title well and it, so it, slash marina that's exactly <laughs> what it'll be that's what the email said today so his yeah. I think his title will be marina director <laughs> public works director and just one yeah. guy does both yeah. jobs and so you'll hear you know the usual naysayers, oh, Crawford's hiring another department head, and uh, no, it's got nothing to do with it. It's a change in title, and that's it. So, huh. that's anyway, idea. we'll throw that all in the workshop and we'll take it up then. Okay. On my list. City Clerk. I, I just have one quick thing I need you all to sign a paper before you leave tonight. Okay. Okay. All right. I don't think y'all heard you. I thought he said workshop. It's going to be a workshop. workshop? I'm just going to bring it to you in a final form so that you're oh. aware of it. I don't really need, I don't want to be that guy, but I don't really need. Or approval to do what I need to do with my employees, That's but exactly obviously, right. obviously you need to be on board with it. And I think the clerk just said that she needs you all to sign a document before you split, so don't run out of here too fast. They have to sign something. All of you do for the closing for tomorrow. So please don't. Very leave. important. Closing for tomorrow. I think it's it. Okay. That's it, Madam Vice Mayor. Okay. We sign both of these, honey. It's up to you. I'll, I'll go ahead and adjourn the meeting then, and it is now 7.08.